understand that uh, you'll be making uh, an official announcement uh, next week uh, with the rally in Des Moines. Um, I guess, what can we expect um, from that, and um, how are you planning to pitch yourself to caucus doors in Iowa? Well, I don't have anything to announce today, but we will be coming back to Iowa on Wednesday with an important announcement. Karen and I have spent the last two years traveling the country, uh, reflecting and frankly praying about it. The challenges we're facing, look, I think the country's in a lot of trouble. I think uh, the American people see that President Biden and the Democrats in Washington have weakened America at home and abroad. Uh, for all of us that have the ability to make a difference, I think it's important that we all reflect on what we might do to turn this country around. And so uh, we've arrived at a decision. And we thought there'd be no better place to uh, uh, announce our intentions than uh, here in the Hawkeye State. And uh, uh, we're very much looking forward to Wednesday. And um, I guess, how do you plan on, I guess, uh, maybe differentiating yourself from some of the other candidates uh, in the field, I guess, notably um, from uh, uh, the former President Trump? Well, I think that'll be up to voters in Iowa if, if we join the field. I think yeah. one of the things that caucus goers in Iowa have demonstrated is a, is a great commitment to the caucus process, really listening and learning and taking a fresh look candidates. And I really believe this is a time uh, that, uh, that calls for new leadership. It brings us back to the principles that our administration is advancing, uh, but also that restores a, a level of civility in public life that uh, we've always tried uh, to personify in our lives and in our careers. And uh, uh, I really do believe that uh, different times call for different leaders. And I'm very confident that the people of Ohio will, uh, will sort that out and should we be in that field. So this is your um, uh, second uh, uh, appearance here at, at, at the Roast and Ride. Yeah. Uh, what is it about this event um, and, uh, and, and what Senator Ernst is doing that's, uh, I guess, you know, so important for, for this state and for the Republican Party? Well, I love riding Harleys, but I love supporting veterans more. Freedom Foundation that today's Roast and Ride uh, is supporting is comes alongside homeless veterans, veterans struggling with PTSD, and at a time when we're losing some 18 veterans a day to suicide, uh, I, I think this kind of a this kind of an effort is incredibly important. And I'm just I was grateful to get out on the bike. I was grateful to go for the ride, but I'm I'm, I'm especially grateful to Senator John Ernst uh, having us. We got two in the military and our media family today, um, giving us the opportunity to support this effort for our Thanks, Matt. Thank you very much. You bet.